Hello everyone, it's me Chris again, I'm back. Uh, I hope you can hear me okay and everything looks all right. We're just trying out a different set in the, in the living room. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you my nine week bump date or update. Yeah, so like nine weeks. So I'll also let you know a little bit about um, like my symptoms so far, like what were my first symptoms and stuff. So. So we found out I was pregnant when I was five weeks. So that's five weeks, I think. I, I think I was probably five weeks, four days or something like that. So at that point, I didn't really have any symptoms. I was maybe feeling a little bit tired or something. But then um, week six was actually pretty fine. I was feeling like a little like, oh, like nausea here and nausea there, but it wasn't too bad. Then week seven came <laughs> and week seven was the the unleashing of the holy hell of symptoms well not really holy hell it's not like i am dying but basically week seven um i started feeling nauseous like every day um so i i have pretty bad morning sickness it wasn't just it wasn't just like morning sickness uh whoever decided that it's gonna be named morning sickness i i want a word with you because it's not morning sickness it is all day all day all night sickness so basically i would just like wake up and you know how i the best way i could explain the morning sickness that i've had so week seven was like actually kind of fine-ish like i was still feeling really tired but like the morning sickness was like i was coming in and so i was kind of struggling to eat stuff and i was just mostly laying so this is me been for like last two weeks last two three weeks i've been just laying and just trying to not die <laughs> So basically week seven was when it all started. So the best way I can explain this is kind of like, you know, when you're hangover, but your headache goes away. So you have the nausea. So every time you kind of think about food, you want to throw up. So for me, it was just like, I couldn't think about food at all. Like I still, <laughs> like it, we, it started week seven and I'm still going through it where I can't, I just can't think about food. Like just seeing food and just like watching food like i used to love watching these um mukbang videos you know and right now i just i physically can't look at people stuffing their faces um funny enough actually we got a two-week trial of hello fresh right around the time when i started getting nauseous and that was just so wasteful unfortunately because like i literally i couldn't eat like i can't explain this to you like i just I just couldn't eat it was just i just felt so nauseous and obviously they come and go so i have my moments where i'm like oh i could eat something so so far what i've been eating is is not great so my favorites are canned soups heinz canned soups those are something that i can eat white bread love me some white bread um what else am i eating um i, I have my moments when i like, can eat cheese like a little bit I am trying to shovel down as many fruit as I can, but um, yeah, it's just it's sometimes difficult because not always I'm like, oh yeah, I can eat some fruit. So, um, but yeah, but morning sickness has been uh, it's been it's been rough. So what has been happening is I've been just being sick. Like so, I tried to pull myself together because I actually have to work through the week and I'm working from home, which is fine. But I, I'm kind of I'm sitting up most of the time working from my laptop. So I've been trying to kind of like push through and then. Once the weekend comes, at the end of seven weeks, I remember that was the first weekend. I literally spent the whole weekend on the couch, not being able to move, not being able to eat, just watching movies because I was just so nauseous. Um, and then it was the same following week. And then this is like the first week in like three weeks. I, was, I mean, yesterday I was kind of in the bed most of the time. But today is like the first time in three weeks when I'm actually like up and doing things. Like we went to the shop today um you know i was able to like kind of move around a little bit i mean i'm still i woke up this morning and i had i was just i came in here i was like i'm gonna do dishes and i was just literally like i couldn't move because i was just so nauseous so i had to like sit down um but yeah i was just like <laughs> it wasn't great i mean it's i understand this is like all part of it so but morning season has been a really big issue for me um just kind of dealing with it and just trying to find things that i can eat and still keeping healthy which is like difficult um but yeah um 
overall um, I haven't had any headaches I've had a couple of headaches here and there nothing super serious to the dude knock on wood um, hopefully not gonna get any um, physical differences um, my uh, breasts have gotten my breasts have gotten uh, reasonably bigger and I don't know I mean this might be because well I've never had well I've always kind of had bigger breasts right so I've just it's harder for me to notice when they get even bigger I guess <laughs> I know it sounds so silly but like I just can kind of feel they're getting full and I feel I don't know it might be it might be weird but like I feel like they're just getting fuller and fuller um at the very beginning of like si week six and week seven I remember they were like so so sore like I couldn't even touch them right now they're like fine-ish like they're okay like they're okay but I re just remember it was just so like painful um then um i haven't i'm i'll show you my my belly shot in the, like a little bit at the end of the video i don't think i'm i think it's mostly bloat i don't think I, it, that there's like much of uh like actual like baby in there <laughs> baby is nine weeks today so the, my app says four grams um two and a half centimeters so it's roughly the size of grape so we'll put a picture in here like a little grape so, or like a little date or whatever. So, the baby's growing. Um, yeah, I mean, I had some cramps early on, like week six, seven, where I just could feel kind of like this pulling. And I was kind of nervous, but I was told it's okay and it was all right. So uh, I actually had my midwife, my first midwife appointment on the 16th, which was last Tuesday. And that went actually really well. So I went in, um, they gave me my, my mother pass or like maternity pass or whatever it's like this orange book that they give out in the UK so I had that and then I had to pee in a cup and then they took my blood and I've opted out to test everything that I could be tested so like uh, sickle cell uh, you know hepatitis B everything that they could possibly test they tested me on uh, like my blood count and whatnot so I'm gonna find out results for that on Tuesday hopefully um, they say that they don't usually call you if everything's okay, so they might not call me and I might have to just give them a call to see if I need to take anything extra. Um, I did speak with my midwife and because my BMI is over 30, I am in, um, I'm, not, I'm not necessarily in like a very bad risk group or anything, but I have to take a little bit more of um, folic acid. I'm not sure what's the connection there, but I'm, I'm assuming it's just because I'm just a little bit bigger. so. My body just needs a little bit more, but um, yeah, I mean, the maternity thing, it went all right. My midwife is amazing. She seemed really nice. She like explained everything to me that I would possibly need to know, hopefully. And like I, she said, I can call her if anything and like ask her questions and whatnot. They've also asked me if I'm, if I know where I'm going to give birth and, like right now at week nine, I'm like, okay, <laughs> like obviously I don't, I, I don't think that far ahead yet. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we haven't really made any purchases for the baby yet, obviously, because it's just so early. The only thing we did buy is, you might have seen in the previous vlog, we bought a, um, a maternity pillow. Uh, Give his name the Maynard, because we were watching Desperate Housewives, Susan's kid. And uh, I've had love and hate relationship with him, honestly. I just, <sighs> I tried it for a couple of, a couple of days. And it was just um, driving me crazy, <laughs> honestly. It was just like, uh, I, I took the cheapest one because we're not like most rich, most of the rich people or whatever. So I just took the cheapest one. It was like, <laughs> it was like 16 pounds, I think. Um, and it's just, I tried it both ways. So I tried it, by, um, well, well, I'll show you how the pillow looks. I'm, I'm sure you've seen it, but basically like, it, it's like massive, like massive U. And obviously, like you're supposed to put your head here because that's like like the, the fl fluffier part. But I just, no matter how I tried to, I couldn't do it. Obviously, I don't need it yet because I don't feel I have belly yet. And you mostly need to start thinking about using it after week 12. So that's probably when I'm gonna like start cautiously like thinking I need to use it. But right now I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm kind of fine with it. So it's been actually ex. So Gita's used it for a while and he kind of liked it actually. But then he <laughs> he wasn't he wasn't so happy with it anymore. So yesterday was the first day when he was exiled to the couch. So we spent the whole night in the couch here because we just it's just big. Our, we have like a, a double bed, so it's not massive. So like 
<laughs> there's just not enough space for everyone so but yeah i mean we'll see how it goes well we'll need to use it at some point but yeah um regarding anything else we haven't really bought anything else obviously um i might think about maybe getting um because of my bloatness i haven't held, i haven't go back to work yet but when i go back to work eventually i'm thinking i'll probably need like <laughs> maternity jeans or something because it's just when i wear my normal jeans they're just like super tight and obviously when i'm home i'm just wearing sweatpants like all day every day that's literally all i'm wearing like i tried to dress up today a little bit but uh so i put on my my clean my clean hoodie um but yeah i mean other things i haven't had any cravings yet i haven't had any like oh my god i just i want this food i mean i've had a couple where i'm like gita can you get me this but it was more so i feel like because i can't eat a lot of things like if I want something in that moment, I'll ask Gita to like take give it to me because I feel like if I can just eat something rather than eating nothing, you know, just eating something in that moment. So like one night it was hot chocolate from Costa, you know, I just I was just craving it. No, no, it's weird. Or like the other night it was just I wanted watermelon. I just wanted watermelon. I don't know. So um yeah, we'll see how it, we'll see how it proceeds. You know, we'll see. How, I have my. We received a letter yesterday for my dating scan, so this means we're gonna be able to see the little bean. And that is on the 19th of April. So that's when we're gonna see a first glimpse. Um, we're gonna get a little picture with a little bean, hopefully. We'll see how it looks and everything. So that is very exciting. We'll see when that comes. But yeah, I mean, so far it's just week nine, you know, so it's not, nothing, nothing crazy is happening yet apart from morning sickness, so <laughs> yeah. Um, I've been asked to actually also do um, these exercises for pel pelvic floor, which I uh, I haven't done yet because I have been literally just feeling like like garbage. So I probably need to look into start doing them as well. But yeah. Anyways, um, I'm gonna show you my my belly now. Um, we're gonna try two ways, so we'll see what works. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you my belly now. So this is my belly shot. This is with pants. Can't really see nothing, really. I feel like you can't really see anything. And this is just the belly itself. You know, just fat. Just my, my, me belly, me belly fat. Me eating for two now. <laughs> yeah, this is this is me. I don't know if you can see it. You know, this is me right now. So 